Time is ticking on the world of silver and gold. Certainly has been an interesting couple of weeks for the markets. But this is a clock-themed, time-themed coin, the Kronos 2021. So let's have a good close look at it and see if it's any good. Backyard Bullion here and a warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's edition of In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at cool things made of silver and gold. And this week we're going to be having a look at the 2021 Kronos Silver Coin, which is a very cool piece from the Pressburg Mint. And let me tell you, it's lovely, it's fantastic, and I'm very glad to be able to showcase it here for you today. And that has come courtesy of Europa Bullion. And if you don't know who they are, there's a link down in the description box below to their website. They are selling these on there. You can go and check them out and buy them there if you so wish. It's not an affiliate bonus code or anything like that. It's just here to show the coin. And if you like it, then that is an option for you to buy it from. Now, in terms of options, we have a number of other options for next week's episode. So make sure that you stick around and cast your eye and indeed your vote on what you want to see next week here on In Focus Friday. But for the time being, we're going to crack this coin out of the capsule and get it close up to the camera and show what it is all about, because it is something pretty cool. It's one I've been eyeing up from this batch of coins that I had come in right from the get-go. It is beautiful. There are some real intricacies to it, some very, very unique uh, bits of design work that's gone into this coin, which make it very, very nice indeed. Now, as I said, it's made by the Pressburg Mint, so let's get all the specifications out as we go first. It's got a diameter of 38 millimeters, which is pretty much standard for uh, one ounce silver coins. You can see it's one ounce fine silver, the fine silver embossed there, four nines. A lot of people ask, does three nine or four nine make a difference? In my opinion, not really, but four nine silver is usually nicer and better. I find that the finish on them is better and often you get the sense as well that it's going to be a higher quality it's just a little, maybe it's a little play of the mind, but for me, four nines is a big tick. Mintage of 30,000 for the bullion version. There is also a silver proof like version. They don't call it silver proof, just proof like. And I'm looking at some of the images, uh, marketing images, and it's very much got more of a kind of shinier proof finish. This has got a lot of matte finish on it. And I believe that the silver proof like has a kind of silvery um, mirror finish almost on some of the areas. This particular one uh, is the BU version, as I said, mintage of 30,000. They have also got, for the first time, I believe, a 10th ounce gold version. Now, I don't have that to showcase here, but the images, the pictures really do look good. I think this would look fantastic in gold. Uh, that has a mintage of 1,000, and there are only 10, they are only 10th ounce gold. So probably very small, but I would imagine the detail is not lost on the coins. So specifications out the way, let's have a look and see what it's all about. Now the Kronos coins are of course all about time and clock, and you can see the clock hands here in the middle with that minute hand pointing to, uh, or is it the second hand? I can never remember. We are five minutes to midnight, or are we five seconds to midnight? Sometimes it certainly feels like we're five seconds to that kind of moment that we all maybe dread that the world is going to collapse and end. But there is the clock and that's the theme of the coin. I've seen previous editions of the Kronos Silver in various unboxings that we've done throughout the last couple of years and they're all really very elegant. This one is probably the most elegant. It's the most um, that's not just looking like a clock. A lot of the other ones you can very distinctly see straight away they just are a clock. This one gets you to think about it a little bit. Of course you've got the numbers all around the outside. Really, really very clever to put AG as the 12. That's just making complete sense. Um, and of course, with the 10th ounce gold, I've just looked on the images, it's AU at the top, which makes complete sense. Uh, so really good matte finish around the edge with all the numbers. Very, very well made indeed. And uh, it's that theme that runs through all of this coin series, which is, of course, important to keep. But one thing as well that is very good about this is that the other side of the coin has some of the intricacies of the design following through, which is really good. You've got these kind of clock gears, which almost look, makes it think that this coin is a clock and you've got all of the intricacies inside it ticking away, uh, which is pretty cool. We've got loads of security features on here as well. These kind of square um, pattern shapes there, they all form part of the kind of security um, elements of this coin. There's also kind of a, a hologram, um, different angled thing with that same Pressburg Mint logo there. It's really important these days to have these kind of security features on coins. We've seen 
major mints around the world starting to adopt them more and more. The Royal Mints, Britannias, for example. Um, there are just more and more counterfeiters out there that will look to make imitation coins out of base metals and try and flog them plated with silver uh, or even gold and especially when you have you know gold versions of coins coming out as well it's so important and it's great to see the Pressburg Mint taking that seriously and the more intricate a coin is the more difficult it is for uh, any counterfeiters out there to replicate it so that is a big plus for me I think that's a really good extra layer of protection on the actual design that is integrated into the coin so that's very good um, I think that the Mintage quality, once again, from the Pressburg Mint is exceptionally good. Um, I do hope the camera is doing the detailing justice. There really is a lot of intricate detail on these mermaids holding the uh, holding the anchors. That's the word I was looking for. Um, even in that kind of um, security feature, you can really see the level of intricacies and the details. Love the wavy pattern in the background as well. It's very mesmerizing. It's got some great light play coming off it at the different angles that you can get this coin at. Um, and of course that follows through onto the other side as well. I mean, if you're talking about mintage quality and intricacy level of detail, it doesn't get better than this, uh, you know, cog, this whole inner workings of the clock. It is incredible. And remember, this is a minted coin. This is not engineered by, um, la you know, not laser etched into the silver. This is a die that has been made that has then pressed into the silver to create this finished design. And let me tell you, that is no mean feat to do as a, as a sort of coin engraver, as a die engraver. Really very good. There's Queenie as well. Of course, it is actually a coin. $5, 2021 there. Uh, and we've got Ian Rank Broadley, um, Broadley's portrait of Her Majesty the Queen. So it's nice to see as well that there isn't just the Queen's head on the reverse of the coin. Come on, camera, get back in focus. There we go, finally got it into focus. Uh, you do have to apologise, the lighting here is just really difficult today with some natural sunlight just blaring through the windows. So it does sit at this interesting price point as well, which is at the high end for, pre uh, for premium bullion, but at the low end of premium coins. So it kind of sits in this middle ground. It's a really interesting kind of market that I think the Pressburg Mint has picked up on to get these high quality, really nice looking different design coins that are just sitting there as options for people who perhaps want to diversify their collection their coins have those different things coming in but at the same time not having to break the bank with going double triple spot price for various different releases so really interesting piece and i think it's really good now as i've been doing throughout all of the last couple of episodes we're going to give it a score out of 10. Uh, for me, I think this is a really elegant coin and a really interesting one at that. It's also quite popular, the theme of the clock and the five to midnight. So I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. I think it's actually quite a good piece and be intrigued to know what you guys think as well. So please let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Also, I'd like to know what you would give it out of ten. Whilst you're down there in the comments, let me know what you'd like to see next week here on In Focus Friday. We have a number of cool things to choose from. The two ounce Perth Mint, the Caribbean Octopus, the Pirates of the Caribbean themed coin, the Royal Cutty Sark, an incredibly intricate starfish, which is my next pick for next week. So not that I'm being biased. Or the Equilibrium coin. Lots to choose from, all courtesy of Europa Bullion. So a big thank you to them once again for sending me through the Kronos coin to have a look at. So go and check their website out. Links down in below. Otherwise, if you've enjoyed today's video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you would like to see videos from us in the future, hit subscribe as well. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.